All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Ads conversion tracking with Google Tag Manager. So this is going to be a very basic video and I'm going to show you how you can track some type of confirmation page or a thank you page after someone completes a key action on your website like filling out a form or purchasing something from you. So after they purchase something from you, they're redirected to a thank you page or some type of confirmation page. So what you're going to need to get started is a Google Tag Manager account and you're going to need to make sure you have a Google Ads account as well. So we're going to need those two accounts and then you need to make sure that you have Google Tag Manager properly installed on your website. So you can do this. So let's just say we open up Surfside PPC real quick. One of the easiest ways to make sure that you have Google Tag Manager properly installed on your website is to use Google Tag Assistant. It's a Google Chrome plugin. It's completely free. So if we click up here, I have Google Tag Assistant installed and we just click on this little extension up at the top of our Google Chrome and you can see result of tag analysis. We have Google Analytics installed and we have Google Tag Manager installed. If you're not sure how to install Google Tag Manager, we recently created a video, three ways to install Google Tag Manager on your WordPress website. Now the final way that we show you, you can use this on any website that you own. So we're going to come back over here to Google Tag Manager and what we need to do first is click on add a new tag. So we're going to name our tag and we're going to do Google ads conversion. Okay. And what we're going to do is tag configuration. So we're going to click here and we're going to do Google ads conversion tracking. So now you're going to see, it's going to say conversion ID, conversion label, value, order ID, currency code. And then it's also going to have a trigger down here as well. So I'm going to go through that in a minute. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come over to our Google ads account. And what we want to do is make sure we can create a conversion in Google ads. So let's just say, for example, running a campaign, we're getting clicks for that campaign and we're getting conversions. We want to make sure we can track all of these conversions in our Google ads account back to our search campaigns, our video campaigns, display campaign, any campaign that we're running. So we're going to come up here to tools and settings. And when we click on it under measurement, we're going to click on conversions. Okay, so this will show any of the conversions that we've created already, where the source is, the category, tracking status, count, conversion window, include in conversion, so all these different things. So what we wanna do is click to create a new conversion action. Now you can import conversions from Google Analytics, you can track phone calls, you can track app installs, and specific in-app actions. But what we're gonna do is click on website here so we can track sales, we can track leads. So let's just say we're tracking leads here. So every time someone fills out one of our forms, we're going to enter our conversion name. So let's just say confirmation page, Google tag manager. So we're going to keep scrolling down next is value. So you can use different values for each conversions, but if you choose to use different values for each conversions, you're going to have to add dynamic values to your tracking code. So I'm not going to go over that in this video. I'm just going to focus on using the same value for each conversion. So let's just say every conversion is just worth one for our business. Now, if you're selling something and let's say everything you sell costs a hundred dollars, so it's worth a hundred dollars to your business, you can use that value. So whatever the value is to your business. Otherwise, if it's just something like a lead, I'm just going to say every lead is worth $1 to my business. So now we're going to keep scrolling down count. You can count every single one, or you can just count one. We're just going to count one. So we're just going to count every lead as one. We're going to keep scrolling down. You can adjust your conversion window. If you want, you can change your view through conversion window. You can include in conversions. So I went over that earlier. So you can actually see the conversions tied back to your campaigns. So you want to make sure you have this as yes here. And then you can also set your attribution model. We have a video on our channel about all the different attribution models. So you can find that there, but some of the different options, last click, first click linear time decay position based, and then data driven. Once you get enough data in your account. So what we can do is just say time decay. So that means that clicks that are closer to the conversion are going to get more credit. So we're going to click on create and continue. So now we have our conversion action created in Google ads. So what we need to do is install our tag and we're going to do that using Google tag manager. So you're going to click use Google tag manager here. So you're going to need to make sure you obviously have Google tag manager installed on your website. And the next thing you want to do is take this conversion ID. We're going to copy it. We're going to come back over to Google tag manager and you're going to see conversion ID right there. So we're going to come back over. Next thing is going to be conversion label. So we're going to get that. We're going to copy it. We're going to come over here and enter the label there. So that's all we need to do at this point. So conversion value will be handled in Google ads. 
order ID. We don't need to do an order ID for this, so you can pass a unique order ID. So every time someone purchases something, you can use a dynamic order ID from your website and pass it back through Google Tag Manager. And then the other thing you can do is use currency code. So let's just say, for example, you're setting a value here. You can do currency code like US dollars. So we're not going to do that for this at this point. So we're going to keep scrolling down conversion linking. So enable conversion linking true. Keep this. We're not going to do anything with advanced settings. And the next thing we need to do is make sure we trigger this tag. So we're going to click on this tag to trigger it. Now we don't want it to trigger on all pages. So what we want to do is we're going to click here. We're going to create a new trigger and what we're going to our trigger name is going to be confirmation page. So now we're going to click here. And what we're going to do is click on page view here. So it's going to be a trigger for a page view on some page views. And it's going to be when the page URL contains and we're going to do confirm. So what this is going to say is every time someone fills out this form right here, they're going to be redirected when they click this button. They're going to go to this page right here, our confirmation page. So surfsideppc.com slash confirm. So it's going to say, please confirm your email address. Thank you for signing up. Anytime someone hits this page, it means they filled out this form on our website. And if they clicked on a Google ad, hit this page, filled out this form and came over to this confirmation page, then what we're able to tell Google Tag Manager is we want you to track this Google ads conversion back into our Google ads account. So now we could just click on save. So it's going to say Google ads conversion tracking. We have our ID here. We have our label here and then triggering. Anytime someone hits this confirmation page, we want to trigger this Google ads conversion tracking tag. And what we can do next is click on save. So now if we come over here to our tags, you're going to see we have our Google ads conversion for our confirmation page all set up. So now we need to do one more thing here. We're going to come over here to overview. We're going to add a new tag. So if you come over and you see step two right here, it's going to say, make sure you add a conversion linker tag and configure it to fire on all of your web pages. So that's going to make sure that Google ads is able to track all of the conversions that are happening on your website using Google tag manager. So we're going to come over to Google tag manager. We're going to click here and we're going to do conversion linker. So what we can do is name it and then we're going to trigger it on all pages. So now we have our conversion linker triggered on all pages, click on save. And now what we can do is click on submit. So once we click on submit version name, we'll say, okay, so we have our version name and description here. We'll click on publish. Okay. So it's going to say we added three tags to our website, one trigger and one variable. If we come over here, you can see we have it all set up here. So we can just click on next and it's going to say you set up your confirmation page GTM conversion tracking. So what we want to do next is make sure that we've implemented it properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Google tag manager. We're going to come back to our workspace and we're going to click on preview. Okay. So now that we're in preview mode, what we're going to do is come back over to our confirmation page. We're going to reload this page. So now you can see the tags fired on this page are Google ads conversion confirm page. So the one we just created Google analytics is fired here and our Google conversion linker is fired here. Now what we want to do is make sure that this Google ads conversion is not being triggered on every single page. So we're going to come back over to our newsletter page. We're going to reload this one. So now you can see the tags fired on this page are Google Analytics and our Google conversion linker. So that means it's not tracking a conversion every time someone visits this page. So we have it properly set up and all we needed to do was go to Google Tag Manager, create that new tag. And now every time someone does hit this confirmation page, it's going to fire back using Google Tag Manager and we're going to be able to track conversions into our Google Ads account. So this is how to track a thank you page using Google Tag Manager and using Google Ads. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'm going to be creating some more advanced tutorials so you can track things like every time someone clicks a link on your website that either goes to a separate page on your website or a page outside of your website. So thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.